ever been asked in an interview? Tell me about a time when you missed an obvious solution to a problem. This question might seem intimidating at first, but don't fret, it's a common one. Interviewers use it to gauge your problem-solving abilities and how you handle mistakes rather than focusing on the mistake itself. They're interested in how you've grown from these experiences. Did you learn something new? How did you adapt? They're not looking for perfection, but resilience and adaptability in the face of challenges. Keep in mind, this question can come in different forms. You might be asked, can you share an instance where a simple solution eluded you? Or describe a time when you overlooked an easy answer. Different words, same intent. So this question is not just about admitting a mistake, but about demonstrating your learning and growth process. Now that we understand what the interviewer is looking for, let's talk about how to craft the perfect response. The key is to be genuine. Don't make up a story. Instead, recall a real life example where you overlooked an obvious solution. Start by setting the scene, explain the problem you faced and the solution you initially pursued. Now here's the crucial part. You need to openly admit the oversight, show humility and acknowledge the missed solution. This is not a weakness, rather it demonstrates your ability to self-reflect and the courage to admit when you're wrong. Next, discuss the moment of realization. How did you discover the missed solution? Was it a colleague's suggestion, a sudden epiphany, or a result of further research? This part of the story is important as it shows your willingness to learn and adapt. The most important element of your response, however, is to highlight what you learned from the experience. Did it change your approach to problem solving? Did it make you more open to feedback or more attentive to details? This shows the interviewer that you view mistakes as opportunities for growth and learning. And don't forget to briefly mention how you applied the lessons learned in subsequent situations. This will show the interviewer that you are not just talk, but you put your learning into action. Remember, the key is to focus on the lessons learned and how you've grown since then. Sunko. So what does a good response look like and what should you avoid? Let's dive right in. A good response is one that is specific, demonstrates self-awareness and most importantly shows growth and resilience. It's not about showcasing your perfection, but rather your ability to learn, adapt and improve. Consider this example. I once overlooked the importance of a routine maintenance check for our systems. When they crashed, it caused significant downtime. I felt terrible, but I learned the hard lesson of not taking any process for granted. I took corrective measures and since then, I've been proactive about maintenance and encouraged my team to do the same. Notice how this response is specific, shows self-awareness and demonstrates growth. It also shows resilience because despite the setback, the person took corrective measures and improved the situation. Now let's consider a bad response. I can't recall a time when I missed an obvious solution to a problem. I'm usually very thorough and don't make such mistakes. This response lacks specificity and doesn't show any self-awareness or growth. It gives the impression that the person is not open to learning from mistakes, which is a red flag for potential employers. In essence, a good response is not about downplaying your mistake, but showing how you learned and grew from it. It's about demonstrating that you can take a setback and turn it into an opportunity for improvement. As you can see, a good response is more about the learning and less about the mistake. Let's summarize what we've covered today. We've explored the crux of the interview question. Tell me about a time when you missed an obvious solution to a problem. This question is not a trap, but a chance for you to demonstrate your problem solving skills and ability to learn from your mistakes. We dove into crafting a compelling response. Your answer should include the situation, the challenge you faced, how you initially addressed it, what you learned, and how you applied this newfound knowledge in the future. We also looked at variations of the question to help you be ready for anything. We then discussed examples of good and bad responses. Remember, authenticity is key. Your response should be truthful, reflect your experiences, and showcase your ability to grow. Remember, preparation is key. So keep practicing, stay positive, and you'll ace your next interview. Thanks for watching. Thank you for watching. If you found value in today's video, please hit that subscribe button for more helpful content. Got questions or ideas? Comment below or connect with me on LinkedIn, especially if you're exploring opportunities or hiring. Remember, it only takes one opportunity to transform your career journey. Keep striving and stay optimistic. Your persistence will pay off. Peace and success to you.